にやかだね Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black and welcome to part 49 of my Let's Play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. And we have just departed on a date with Fia. This is going to be an all day thing, so let's get to it. We're visiting a town, a new town, that the castle has recently rolled up on. It's not bad as far as towns go. Fairly big. So there's all kinds of people working and selling crap. So where should we go? Ah, she just wants to wander around looking at stuff. Huh. Okay. If we're going to be looking at stuff, I'm always going to keep an eye out for craft work, craft materials. Hey, Avaro, if you wanted something, couldn't you just make it? Well, yes, there's a lot of things he can make. But, even so, from time to time, it's better just to let specialists handle it. And anyway, from time to time, he likes having other people make stuff for him. Yeah, oh, really. Oh, look, it's somebody. It seems like she recognizes. Seems like? Yeah, there are a couple of girls with ears and tails. Looks like they've noticed us too. Mikio says hi. Now that she thinks of it, the two of them both took a day off today. Could this be a date? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, don't tease us. Even though that's the truth. Hey. <laughs> So the two of them, what are they doing? But she can tell by looking. They're on a date too. Oh, Avar gets it. They're buying stuff for the castle. They're big help all the time. Eel's buying food. And she's going to cook it. So, Mikayu is actually buying stuff for the workshop. The uh, perishables, consumables. And since the two of them were going, they decided to go together. I preferred my idea. You two are on a date. Well, Avaro thanks them for working so hard, but of course it's part of their job. It's what they pay her for. And besides, she likes heading out with Eel. Yep. The two of them are out eating, buying and eating. Now, what Eo said was kaikui, or it's buy and eat. In Japanese, it has a particular meaning of basically buying sweets in order to eat them immediately. So that's what they're doing, or part of what they're doing. Mikio objects that that's not the only thing they're enjoying here. She is a little embarrassed that that's part of their objective. It's all right. Anyway, we're not so strict around the castle, so if you like to do these kinds of things, enjoy yourself. Yep, the way the Gralakuna Company lets you run amok is one of our good points. Uh, right. <laughs> ah, she's got a heavy conscience on her, doesn't she? 
Even though it's just, you know, cheap sweets. Back to business, Eel's asking us if either of us are going to need food today. But no, we're going to be eating out, so you don't need to prepare anything for us. Okay, got it. Mikeyu, let's try those over there. Eo, we just got tired being we just got embarrassed for eating and for buying and eating. Even though she's going to come and do it now anyway. So the two go run off. I still prefer to think of the two of them on a date. Ah. So after the two of them leave, we hear a cute sound. <laughs> so apparently, a nearby cafe or whatever has launched a veil to get our attention, and it got Pia's attention, and she's a little hungry. All right, let's go eat. So, sure. By the way, Avaro, did you eat before we left? Nope. We did get up pretty early, after all. And one of us dragged the other out. So, anyway. <laughs> that place looks like it has tasty food. Alright, let's go. She what a sweet. She really likes sweets. She'd like something sweet. Uh sweets, huh? Yeah, she got sweets. So, she's enjoying it. She likes how the fruits are sweet and things. <laughs> Avaro just looking at that gives him heartburn. That kind of thing. Well, so she enjoys it. Afia apparently is having her sweets, but Avaro is having a light meal, it says. Yeah. If you like it that much, we could make this kind of place in the castle, you know. And then you can have it anytime you like. Eel might actually be able to be handy at this particular, yeah, this particular type of thing, too. You don't get it, Havaro. So, if you can eat this anytime you like, and you can eat it any number of times you like, it loses its meaning. So, if you do it at a special time, with someone special, then when you eat it, it will be especially delicious. Especially two girls. Alright, so remember that, Avaro. Really? Alright, I'll remember it. <laughs> okay, alright. And so with that, Avaro, have a bite. This embarrasses Avaro, for whatever reason. So, when she offers it up, he's hesitant. 
Okay, if you're hesitant, don't do it. Don't do it, Avaro. Don't do it. Look, you're saying you're embarrassed. Don't do it. Look, you're saying you're embarrassed and then you're saying you can't refuse it. Just don't do it. God damn it. He does it. Spineless wimp. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a Japanese thing. The indirect kiss, I suppose. This embarrasses Mbaro a bit. But whatever. If he isn't embarrassed. <clears throat> Alright, he says it's delicious too. Isn't it? You want more? Uh, no. He's good. And anyway, more than him enjoying it personally. He likes the enjoy of her, her face as she eats it. So, <laughs> Alright, she'll enjoy it then. Hmm. <laughs> well, I guess she is cute. Avoro finishes the light meal that he got. Funny how we don't get to see it. I like meat. Sweets are alright, but I like meat. Okay, so apparently that was a really long lunch. Well, now that we've eaten, he feels like taking a nap. How, about, how do you think about that, Fia? You're talking like a, some kind of dad who's taking a day off. Are you tired already? You shouldn't be at an age where you're getting exhausted simply from eating. Ah, no, no. He's not saying that he wants to go home yet. And anyway, hanging out with Fia in a shop and talking isn't something we get to do often. In fact, he'd like to continue. But if it's, they can talk any time, right? And we can even do it while we're making out in bed and things. No, Eva was saying that they don't get together in that kind of setting often. Hey, didn't Avaro want to, you know, get stuff for work anyway? So, next up we're going to go shopping. She's hoping she can find some kind of... Uh, cute accessories. Alright, Avaro's day good with shopping too. <laughs> so, Avaro speaks aloud to himself, I wonder if we can get some good deals on these things. Huh, no, it's nothing. So, have you seen anything you liked? Yep, she found something. Do you think this looks cute? Ha. Uh, it's some kind of necklace. Oh, well, yeah, it's good. It might look good on you. Yeah, isn't it? But it's kind of expensive. She wouldn't be able to afford it. Alright, I'll buy it for you. It's my treat. Is that alright? Yes. It's a commemoration of our date today. <laughs> alright then. She'll accept it. As proof of her love. 
Well, as proof of love from her lover. So she pulls back her hair. And Avaro gets to looking at that. He's just enchanted by her, the nape of her neck, I guess. Well, it's true that he doesn't get to see that part of her very often. <laughs> oh, did she charm you? That was easy. Well, yeah. It's really pretty. Hey, she was joking. When you take her seriously, it makes her blush. Hey. Well, but it's true that you're quite pretty. <laughs> Jeez, Avaros is always so nice to her. So, we get this necklace around her neck. Blah blah blah, talking about her hair and neck. Alright, thanks. How's it look? Well, it suits you. Girls should have some good accessories. Makes you look cute. And, as my lover, it gives you a certain charm. <laughs> like I would want to take you right now. A bit of a joke there. Yeah, she's okay with it. I'm telling you, we're not doing it in front of people. <laughs> all right, all right. We'll do it later. Pleasantly. <laughs> yeah, I probably didn't miss that. She likes this day thing. So Avaro tells her nice things and gives her nice presents. So it's a good day. Would you be a good day if he wasn't spoiling you like a brat? I wonder. Anyway. If we could get more opportunities like this it would be nice. Yeah, we'll get plenty of chances. <laughs> the way she says it sounds like she's just always enticing him. So, what do we do now? The sun's starting to go down. And the shops around here are closing. Want to go back to the castle? <laughs> she doesn't feel like going back to the castle yet. Let's just wander about. And she knows of a good place. So, let's go. So, those are some pretty stars. Yeah, they stayed up pretty late. So, the two of them have found a spot to sit there and stargaze. Isn't it a nice place? She just found it recently and set it aside for us this occasion. Really? When'd you find it? She found it not too long ago, actually. She was looking for something special. Really. Well, she was so excited about this date that she practically didn't sleep last night. In comparison, Navarro really didn't do that much. Hey, sorry, Fia. In the end, everything had to be planned by you. Even this place with the nice view. Avaro didn't even think about that kind of thing. 
Yavo understands that he should be leading a bit. <laughs> Jeez, you're pretty serious. But she gets it. She knows that Avaro is always busy. And the fact that he's giving his all to realize his dream is actually not a bad thing in her book. Hey, <laughs> well, thanks a bunch, Fiel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She isn't too happy about the way he, he leaves her alone for so long sometimes. Okay. Do you know the name of that bright star there? Nope. Really? Actually, she doesn't know its name either. Yeah, we're lucky you know your own name. Heh. <laughs> this has gotten into an interesting conversation, huh? Well, you've gotten kind of dark lately. Today's supposed to be a fun day. And if possible, both of us should be enjoying it. Do you think that's selfish? Heh. <laughs> no. No, not at all. I've always enjoying himself too. Having fun, just the two of them. And passing the time pleasantly. Hey, Avaro. Fia really wants to let you know that it's alright for you to connect with other women and she won't get angry. Yeah. Yeah, Avaro says he knows. So, he acting as her apostle is gathering up power for her and she's happy for it. So getting people to believe in her and being by her side and increasing the number of people, it's bringing power to her. And in the end, the power she gets from the connections of our forges are the most reliable and the most happy, so to speak. Well, she is the goddess of connections. Uh, but she's got a heart too and when the person she loves doesn't turn to her often she gets lonely gods also want to be with the people they love a lot it's just she wants him to treat her a little special she wants him to say that he loves her and she wants him to make love to her more hmm. all right And she wants him to make her. She wants him to show that she's special to him. Huh. Alright, quit being needy already. So she's gonna say how she feels. 
私の中にある大好きな気持ちの方が強くて大きいもん。After all, she absolutely loves him more than anyone else. Hey, hey, hey. And I'm going to cut now because after this it turns into a sex scene. Because we're out on a date instead of seeing scenes in the castle, there wasn't the symbol. But that's what happens, and I'm going to skip. See you soon. And I'm back. So, Avaro gets a new skill and another new skill. There are actually improvements on his old skills. Alright, whatever. Let's look at these skills. So, the protection skill has gone from a 20% chance to a 30% chance. And this ally power up has gone from a level 1 boost to a level 2 boost. So, he can do it in only 3 turns at a cost of one more mana. So, hell, I'll buy that. Now, why don't I take off Earthwalk and put on this dodge skill? That's a 5% dodge no matter how often the enemy is supposed to hit him. Alright, Fia says she's tired from all that sexing we did. Man, she was pretty aggressive this round. Well, if boys like to have sex, well, in the same way girls also like to have sex. And today she got him to come three times, so she got a lot of power out of it. Is that really how we count it? Hmm, well, she does get power from this kind of thing. <coughs> Sex god. <coughs> yeah, well, if this was the goal of the date, then, well, you got what you were after. I probably wasn't expecting this at first. Avaro is actually pretty innocent. She thinks it's cute. Hey, don't say that to guys. And anyway, if it's going to be a date, it ought to be date like. You perv. Well, she's still talking about how sex gives her power and stuff. Okay. <laughs> Is that to say that you don't like Avaro for himself? Hey, don't get all bratty about it. And anyway, I've always glad too when she gets power from things. So, pillow talk, pillow talk. Well, Avar also thinks it wasn't bad. And today was really fun, and he liked it. And it was a really feeling fulfilling day. <laughs> yeah, she is fulfilled as well. And if we keep getting busy, we might not be able to do this kind of thing again. Or not be able to do it often.
she'd like it if we got the chance to have dates just the two of them. Hey, every day is kind of like a date, huh? So he was saying every day is like a date, but she says it's different. Even if they live together and they spend a lot of time together every day, the times they set aside specially and promised for a date are special. Really. Well, that's the way she thinks. It's a girl's romance thing. So, once we've accomplished our objective and gotten to the God's Haze, after that, let's try and do it some more. Sure, here's a promise. So, the day's not over yet. Maybe not according to your definition of day of our. So let's... Alright then. So let's just continue to cuddle a bit. Well, that's not bad either. So, hell of a day, right? And look at that mystery person wants to have sex with us again. Oh hell, why not? It's going to be short. At least, the part you see will be. So, Avar was just walking through the castle, when from somewhere, he hears a weird voice. The ghosts are invading! Oh wait, this is that. It sounds like that to Avaro. It's gotta be that. So, heart pounding rapidly, he closes in and takes a peek. Cut. See you later. And we're back. We had sex with Ramunin Yuki. In rather close to a public place, too. I was glad they didn't get seen by anybody. Yep, they were basically right next to a public thoroughfore. <sighs> so, she's satisfied with that. Later. You have no concept of afterplay, do you? Hey, wait up. Hey, uh, anyway. That thing we just did. Let's not tell anybody, okay? Why? Why, you ask? We had sex right next to a public way. Oh, did you do something so bad you'd be troubled if people found out? Man, you did a bad thing. God, you're such a bitch. You're a couple or two here, you know that? And anyway, you got drunk on that medicine, and that's why you ended up doing this, isn't it? So, apparently, this is connected to that medicine we had her drink all that time ago. It gave her five spell points. That was good enough for me, but I guess sex comes with it. Bonus. Uh, so, she's not bothered by having sex right next to a public place just because she was drunk on whatever. Doesn't bother her at all. Um, is that so? Because she's a spirit or whatever? Okay, fine. Anyway, don't tell anybody. No. Are you trying to sell her a favor? Or are you worried that people will find out that you got connected with 
got hooked up with a with a spirit who was drunk. Uh, why are you acting like that when you're one of the culprits here? <laughs> so if I was weird, it felt good, so it's fine. Anyway, laters. Yeah, she's a free spirit, isn't she? I wonder if it's because she's a spirit or if it's because she's a bitch. Well, that's not quite what he says. And yeah, that's all the scene. So, we've cleared out all of our scenes, and actually we've cleared out all of our free maps, all of our story maps, so next up we're going to take on this guy, whatever it is. I happen to know that if I pass another day going to a dungeon or whatever, we can have another scene with uh, Mikael. But I'm not here to waste time on that. I'm going to move the plot forward as soon as I clear things out, even one day. So. Next time we can look forward to our mystery battle at the gate. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time.